And now that we've seen Rocket Raccoon and Howard the Duck in Guardians of the Galaxy, I'm thinking about superhero animals we need to see in the movies. Rocket Raccoon is obvious, the breakout star of Guardians of the Galaxy, the character of the year. Created by Bill Mantlo and Keith Giffen in 1976, originally he was called Rocky Raccoon after the Beatles song. It was later established that Rocky was short for Rocket. He was the star of his own four-issue limited series in the 80s, but otherwise he was relegated to backup stories. But now he stars in his own series by Scotty Young. Issue number two is dropping right now. Pick it up at your comic shop, the Marvel app, or get the collected volume when it comes out. Now, how would the duck? We all love this cameo at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy, created by Steve Gerber and Val Mayarek in 1973. When he first came out, he was a hit, starring in several series with a tongue-in-cheek philosophical twist. He was so popular that in the 1976 presidential election, Howard got thousands of write-in votes as the candidate for the all-night party. But two years later, original writer Steve Gerber was removed after creative differences with the publisher. Around the same time, Disney threatened to sue over what they perceived as similarities to Donald Duck. Marvel agreed that henceforth, Howard would be wearing pants. Later writers squeezed in a backstory about a parallel duck world. Creator Gerber hated it, but that's the story they went with for the 1986 George Lucas produced Howard the Duck movie. It was a bomb on arrival, and to this day it's considered one of the worst movies ever made. But since then, Howard's amassed a cult following and pops up throughout the Marvel Universe. Does his appearance in Guardians of the Galaxy signal a reboot is in the works? Most editorials say no, but check this out. In 1984, Marvel launched Star Comics, a publishing imprint aimed at children. The line mostly featured adaptations of toy and cartoon properties, but one series came out that was a parody of Spider-Man, the spectacular Spider-Ham. Now, he was a spider who got turned into a talking pig, and his own series lasted 17 issues. Since then, he's been worked into the Marvel Universe as a resident of a parallel reality. He's made appearances in TV and video games, but I have to wonder, does Sony or does Marvel own the movie rights to Spider-Ham? Because if Marvel, well... Howard the Duck was written as a master of quack food, and even wore armor that turned him into the Iron Duck. It doesn't feel like such a leap to think that Marvel might be opening the possibility, however distant, of a Marvel Animals movie that's a cosmic adventure starring Rocket, Howard, and Spider-Ham that takes place alongside the events of whatever's the current Avengers movie. But that's not even the one I want to see the most, mostly because I think it's just going to happen anyway. It doesn't need me to cheer for it. The main one I'm dying to see is DC's Captain Carrot and the Amazing Zoo Crew. Originally published in 1982, this was a DC comic series about talking animals from a parallel Earth. Captain Carrot's powers come from eating cosmic carrots, which give him superpowers for up to 24 hours. Now the team includes his teammate Pig Iron, who I used to think was the inspiration for the Gamorrean Guards in Return of the Jedi. This is the movie I'm most excited about, mostly because of how badly I want to be the one to make it. No seriously, DC, I have such a pitch for Captain Carrot. Now I want to know what comic relief or parody characters would you love to see in the movies? Let me know in the comments. Hit that subscribe button while you're there. Check out my whole channel for more videos featuring my art and animation and also all kinds of superhero comedy costume videos. Alright, let's change up the music as we get into these shout outs. William Savard, Alex M, welcome back, and the Arrow Scenes who says he's gonna run like the Flash to Toronto to watch us make videos. New subscriber alerts, Kane, Eti, Maru, Zach, Laura, Dirk, Kirk, Kirk, Caitlin, McKenna, Alex, Stacey, and Tinge Tins. Fan Expo New York Comic Con, I will see you there, so hit up my social media for all the links about meetups and making videos together. Be sure to subscribe because we do this thing every single week with superheroes and all kinds of crazy stuff, so until next time, see you next week, bye bye